-hmm. Yeah, no, a guy can do worse, that's for sure. And uh, this is actually one of my pandemic survival crates. Picked a side to help me survive the time. These drink coaster DVD sets, Western classics, gunslinger classics. This one has... The Curse of Demon Mountain on it with Joe Don Baker. We're going to do a special on that. This might be interesting. Here's a stack of video CDs with Dracula has risen from the grave. Horror of Dracula still sealed. Logan's run. I've got Soylent Green inside somewhere. Uh, that Twilight Zone, the movie, for a while. You just couldn't get it. Dollar Store DVDs. Ultimate Warrior. The massive 300 movies for $10 box sets from Uncle Michael probably saved my sanity. What may be of more interest to a rare film collectors is this box of German-made clamshell pressings of assorted films uh, by, I think this Enolis was one of the companies. This is Mutant or Forbidden World. By, uh, directed by my friend Alan Holtzman. This is a bootleg, unauthorized copy. Had some interesting bonus items on it. Uh, once again, uh, Erotic Rites of Frankenstein, Jay's Frankel, or The Curse of Frankenstein, that might be the uh, correct official title. You know, as far as just Franco films go, it's not that bad, but here's, this is more along my lines. It's the Barn of the Naked Dead, or Terror Circus, with Andrew Prine. Uh, the only film that he regretted making, which is unfortunate, because it's actually kind of interesting. Um, it's not erotic. It's about as erotic as, as shopping for a new toilet. This uh, German version, it's again a bootleg, and it's got the uh, infamous showering scene removed from basically every other print that I had seen up until that point. I believe it did find an authorized DVD release in widescreen at some point. Haven't seen it. A little bit more hopeful here, Omar Sharif in the uh, Island of Dr. Nemo. Five hour long miniseries presented as one long movie. It's amazing. Again, it's a bootleg. All, I think all these are bootlegs. I don't think any of them were authorized. Rose of Iron. Uh, Jean Rolin, the creepy girl who uh, likes hanging around cemeteries. It's interesting. Uh, whoa. Virgin Among the Living Dead. Jesus Frankel, German version. I think it's a two disc set uh, with at least one, if not two, versions on it of the film. Oh. <laughs> Can't risk showing the whole box covers. I can't have trouble. Uh, here's uh, the new vampire, vampire new. That I shouldn't uh, really show the cover of. They're interesting, low budget. There's a bootleg, Phantasm 2. Who made this one? XT video, and it's got the work print. Crappy VHS source, time code and everything. However long it is. Sorry, can't rip it. City of the Living Dead, I think. Umberto Lenzi Urban Zombie Epic. You know, in Germany and Europe, nudity isn't a big deal. Ghost House, this is a favorite film. I love this movie. There it is, Umberto Lenzi. Really cheap little... Italian shocker made in the U.S. Total product of the home video era. Packaged for teen consumption. Anyway, Paganini Horror. I think this is also a two-disc set. X-rated cult DVD. I got in trouble for selling these at one point because it's that the name of the series is X-rated. They're not X-rated films. This, uh, yeah. Great Alligator River with Barbara Bach. Sergio Martino. Big silly monster movie cartoon for grown-ups. German language version, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're killer Crocodile too. Very proud of this. This one's staying with me. Part of my cold dead fingers collection. As in you'd have to pry them from. 
Neither will Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, which, as I like to say, is one of my movies. One that I encountered at a, at a particular point in life, and it took on significance that has nothing to do with way, what may take place on screen, although I love this film. And uh, this was the, the first time you could get it in the original widescreen, uh, since surpassed by domestic discs. Uh, the Night Avalon came out of the grave. Sadly, cannot risk showing the back of the DVD. No. Um, I think it was the first time you could get an uncut widescreen version in English. Uh, but it had like looped audio during the sections which had been cut for uh, English language release. So it's, you know, it's a bootleg. Better than most. Uh, Paul Nesci again with the uh, Curse of the Devil. I think this one's called. This movie made me feel all sad, and I don't like to feel sad. Wild the Daninsky film, and you know, I, Nashi was very important to me for a while. That's all I can say. Night of Terror, or Night of Horror, I can't remember, Night of the Mausoleum. I had another name too that was, that was better known. This is one I'd keep. This is a cool little movie. All sorts of bizarre uh, zombie effects and then the Germans go for their zombies especially when it has necrophile killer dogs oh, I love this movie it's, it isn't scary there's one scene that's really scary which was when all these crackers are sitting around a fire with their guns thinking they're going to take out the, the pack and you, you hear them start howling in the distance, and, and, and the, the guy's resolve just breaks down as the howlings get more numerous and closer. The rest of the movie, you know, it's the poochies running around looking scared. Great, uh, awesome cast. Just leave it at that. Here's the Mill of the Stone Women on a new clamshell disc. This is probably not a bootleg because nobody has the rights to the film or didn't for a while. Love the cover. A nice widescreen version in English with some a couple of specials on there. Can we show papaya? <laughs> have a DVD of papaya by Joe D'Amato. And we can't show it. Here's a Secret Agent Super Dragon. Euro spy thriller. Has a nude scene. Marissa Mel gets top billing over a super dragon there with a silenced ghost house two. This is the ogre. I think this is the ogre. I know I watched it on, on a VHS. I can't recall if I've watched it this time. It's essentially the same movie. <laughs> Dark Forest, Charles Band. Puppet horror movie, good one. Nice sci-fi edge to it, although I, if I recall correctly, the print is a, a full screen home video transfer. It was kind of a disappointment. It's got his full moon logo on it, so it may have been authorized in some manner. Uh, Living Dead Girls, a uh, French splatter film. I think it's an homage to uh, Jean Rolin. I didn't like it. And then finally in the box is a little Digipack release of Murder Rock. Lucio Fulci. Dude, forgive me. She's got her leotard on there. God, I've watched it. It's, it's, it's a decent slasher. Very cheesy. Lots of leg warmers. But enough already. A lot of those will probably be up for sale. I just can't keep taking care of them. They're beautiful. I love them as objects. But most of them need new homes. I can live with it. Miles and miles and miles.